Without a partnership, we'll do a quick and easy Amazon wish list on Amazon.com. Finally got our new microwave. I freaking love this. This one was, I guess, the newer version of what we already had. I freaking love this because there's no handle. Well, there is a handle, but it's not one of those, you know, the ones that have like the handle on the outside and has like all the buttons on the side. This has all the buttons at the bottom and it just looks so chic. Oh, Jacob picked this out. He did such a great job. This is where the handle is. So you just open it like that. Oh my God, you guys, I freaking love this. I also finished my Christmas tree. I think my battery died before I could show you. This is what it looks like just on its own. Okay. Christmas tree. One, two, three. Ta -da! Doesn't she look so lovely? Oh, it was crooked. Dang it. This is what my Christmas tree looks like at nighttime. She's a beauty. I didn't decorate the back like huge because I never decorate the back because what's the point? Plus, I didn't have that. I This is the best I could do with what I had. And I think it actually turned out gorgeous. I wanted a little bit more decoration than just the tree. So I decorated the stairs with whatever light that I had. I, could, I only had enough to do the bottom half. And this is what the bottom half of my stairs look like. I think that's good enough. <laughs> I have so much to show you guys. Look at this. I think it's like a soap dish maybe, but honestly, I wanna use it for like like a jewelry tray. This one was $25 and it's very, very heavy. It's like this round um, bowl and it's got like thick edges. It's glass. I don't know what I wanna use this for, but it's so freaking beautiful. This was only $17 and it's so heavy. Although I'm not like in love with this tray, by far this is a tray that um, I haven't disliked, which I know is not a good reason to get something, but I really needed a tray and it's just, it feels like lacquer or feels like glass, but it's black and then the outside is, I don't know if it's real wood, but it's like a wood material. And this one was uh, $25. I needed a comforter, so I got a king comforter uh, for the master, I mean master, for the downstairs um, guest bedroom. Okay, so the next one I got was this blanket. I got another blanket because we need more, and this one was $30. I thought it was from Rachel Zoe because it's the same font, but it's not. It's Rachel Roy. It is so freaking soft, you guys. The color is, I would say, like a ivory, but it's a double-sided faux fur throw. And it's very, very, very soft. So this one is, uh, was $10, this one was $10. It's a heavy waffled tub mat, and it has suction cups. I really like this one. I got this, the same one for Nala, so when she, um, when we give her a bath, this is what we use, but I didn't want my sister and her boyfriend to use that one because that one's super dirty. So I got a brand new one for people, and I really like this one because it's thick. So that was my little home goods haul. Oh, let me show you the mattress pad. So this is the mattress pad. I got it on Amazon, and it is um, three inch foam. It's like a memory foam. When I first got this, this part was like super flat like that and the rest was flat too but expanded very quickly the ends took a little bit longer i left it out overnight so i don't really know the exact time it took to for it to expand but i would say just leave it for a day or the other parts of the topper expanded very quickly like within seconds minutes so yeah and then I, let me show you so it's very, very soft, like you sink into it, but look at how fast it pops up. It is a little bit hard to like, when once you're settled in the bed, it's kind of hard to like turn over and like scoot over and stuff because it is memory foam. But honestly, it's, I think it feels way better than um, the bed we have on it now because 
It's so hard. And this one is like, you're sleeping on a cloud. Good morning. So last night I watched a interview with Oprah and Viola Davis and she has, Viola has a new book called Finding Me. I, oh my God, she's so cute. I love that they did that. Anyways, I really like learning about people's lives. I think it's very interesting. And um, that interview was so powerful that it made me want to buy her book. So I bought it. And then another thing that I got is this. Uh, this is Harney and Sons Hot Cinnamon Spice Tea. So I had this when I went to a spa one time and it was so good where I didn't even need to add any honey or sugar or anything. It was so delicious. Oh my God, this is like impossible to open. Are you serious? I can't open this. That was ridiculous. I had to take a knife and put it under here and push it up. It just comes in the bags. That's what it looks like. And then you just pull the string off. That. Oh, <laughs> it smells really good. Today, Jacob and I are going to volunteer and do some gift wrapping for the Nevada homeless youth. We always talked about like giving back and doing something instead of just donating money, like giving back with our time. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna be gift wrapping outside. So I'm gonna have to like try to dress really warm. I don't really wanna do like a lot of makeup makeup but I have to conceal my I don't know if you can see like that part of my like that's my what is it it's not microblading it is microblading but it's um the powder finish one but I just don't like the way that it lays on my face um like I don't like the shape of it so I'm gonna try to conceal it so I use Kosa's it's my favorite one my favorite concealer because I feel like it's like covers but it's also moisturizing it's not it's the perfect consistency I'm not the best at wrapping gifts so we'll see how this goes <laughs> I hate it when it's like my one this eyebrow always turns out so nice but this one is always a menace and I think it's well I know it's because my face is just shaped differently it's not symmetrical anyways i'm gonna finish getting ready and then we're probably gonna head out and i'll let you know how it went here's my outfit hair up in a bun wearing all black and ready to go wrap gifts I am back I'm not in the same spot as yesterday. I was supposed to let you guys know how everything went with the gift wrapping and everything, but um, I was just so tired. So I'm gonna tell you guys today. Yesterday was just amazing. It, it just felt really good to give back. So basically it was for um, Nevada homeless youth. And what we had to do was they give you a list. And on that list, it gives you a little bit of information about the person whether it's a boy or a girl and how old they, like around what age they are. And then I wish they would have been more detailed, like if they like art stuff, if they like makeup, like all that stuff. But it was a very general overview of like their sizes and basically like their age range. And that was pretty much it. And then you had to go into this like little area where you can shop for them. You get to pick up to like five things 
and then you put it in a box and you wrap it up for them and then afterwards there was no more list so we just we wrap things individually and yeah it was just like it was just such a great experience i'm so glad i got to do that with jacob and at first i didn't really want to record us being there because i didn't want it to come off like oh look at us we're volunteering um but then i thought about it and i was like honestly i think it's good to bring awareness to what we're doing so then maybe more people would want to do it i recorded i put a little bit on instagram and you know what I also thought like like if I was organizing that like I would want people to share what's going on what they're doing and all that stuff so I was like it made me more comfortable like posting because I feel like the more you talk about it the more people will know about it you know today Jacob and I are gonna volunteer again and we're gonna do meal um, pack meals I've done this before where it was like a can of a pasta sauce, a package of pasta. There was also like all different sorts of side, like snacks and everything just packed in a box. And then I have a freaking dentist appointment afterwards, like literally right afterwards. And then um, I'm probably gonna clean some parts of the house because my sister and her boyfriend are coming here soon, this week actually. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and get change and I gotta leave here in like 30 minutes. The, it was so crazy. I just feel like the vibe was like a lot different than wrapping the presents. I think it's cause like there was just a lot of like frustrations and stuff like that right before we got to the place. Like we couldn't even find it. Basically everyone was in kind of like an assembly line and everyone had a job to do so like one person had rice the other person had chicken then there was like sesame green onions stuff like that some of us like packed it put the lid on it and that was basically it and tomorrow my cousin is coming into town with his family so um i am making a christmas card well i didn't make it i basically just got one and now i'm just like putting a ribbon around it so it looks like a present I still have so much, well, I think I do. I still have so much to do to prepare for my sister to get here. My sister and her boyfriend. This looks good. I'm gonna cut the ends though. Making the ends a little bit more festive. It's a pointy. Wow, look at that. I love glitter. I love glitter so much. 